back to another episode of City Skyline. So today what we're going to be working on is trying to get this industry area set up in a way that we'll be able to produce some stuff. Uh, we do have a pretty high um, industry demand so I was thinking we could probably build some regular industry and maybe even move some of the ones that are over here over to the other location. So we have quite a bit of few, a few of them. Uh, that are all bunched together and stuff like that. Now, I was thinking about doing the same thing that we did last episode and kind of decorate it like this. Now, obviously, industry isn't going to make trees look a lot good like this, but we can use rocks and other things that can support that kind of um, area. So uh, we can always try that over here, um, even if it doesn't really give any benefit for it like for uh, trees or anything like that. But um, I want to reserve this area for the garbage processing uh, complexes. And we can probably build another port eventually over on this side, but it'll take some time to do, I think. Um, not sure how this all works. Okay, so there is two lines that go this way. So we might even need to get a rail going down the side here and then connect up to a second port if we decide to do that or we could just put a regular port in that would be an option as well but that's for another another problem uh, or another day we can start working on zoning some of this and we'll see if we can't maybe specify a couple different types of industry areas Maybe we can put down a warehouse or two as well uh, for some different types of industry. Now, we don't have any oil industry just yet. We still have to build that oil industry. But we could put oil industry buildings over here. Um, at least for the time. Uh, maybe some... Well, we'll probably have to zone it a little bit larger. The only problem with this game is you can't just like zone an entire block because the way that the spread system for the district works. Like it would be nice to just have specific buildings or whatever like plots uh, dedicated to say oil industry or uh, maybe like farming or something like that. But you have to in, like zone in an entire district which is like kind of annoying but uh let's see here we'll go to here and then industry and we'll set this up for oil and this already has smoke detector distribution so we should be good at this
airport's doing not that good. So I wanted to create a uh, system that will be a little bit better for the connections and stuff like that. And we'll see if we can't bring that line all the way over here so they can kind of take off and stuff. Because they come in this way, right? And then they have to... What's been happening is they've been bottlenecking. So I was thinking maybe if they could decide what direction that they need to go rather than go this way and then to there they can just hop on to a other route and we'll see if that can help maybe get rid of that as well um yeah so basically i just want it kind of isolated into their own areas uh, we'll bring it up to there and then we'll bring it down to here So like that. So that's the general idea like I have, right? So we have the two medium ones. We could even expand that somewhere else. So it's not a direct line there. Um, what we could do is maybe add a third medium airline. Uh, let's see here. This one... That should be good. And that gives us some room for large uh, airlines as well, right? And then what we can do is we can go to here, add a taxiway, and then we'll branch off from here. Connect that up so they can directly turn on and then wrap around. And then this is basically used as the main line, right? So they can hopefully do all that. I'm not sure what we can do with this. Uh, we might be able to put that over here. Maybe that right there maybe I don't know <clears throat> we'll see how it turns out and then we'll remove that we don't really need that there and let's see here I think that might work we'll see how that works out um, with the the taxiways and stuff because then incoming planes and stuff will be able to have a little bit more leeway where they're going and stuff we, we need more water over there there we go, that should be good. Okay, so I'm not sure why that plane's there. He's not really going anywhere. <laughs> He's kind of stuck. But he like backed out, but it was bottlenecked, and then he couldn't go anywhere, so <laughs> he just he just stopped. He's just like, I'm just gonna get out of my plane and just leave right now. I can see that happening, right? So anyhow.
the things that I'm trying to set up at the moment is to get a rail line over from here to the other direction so we can get um, some transport to our local harbor. So hopefully that will help with uh, some of the demand and stuff. Uh, I figure, actually, I don't know if we want to use this island for anything. If we go along here, we should be fine though. Uh, what we could do is we could flatten this out a little bit. I think I might have already flattened it actually. Looks pretty flat. So um, what we'll do is we'll bring the line along here. And see if we can't um, connect that up to there. Yeah, that should do fine. All right, so that line's officially connected. So we should be able to get cargo from there or anywhere around our city. Um, what we still need to do though is there is this little, I put a train station in over here. This should be connected up to the main line uh, for inbound traffic. But uh, when it comes to cargo, we still need to get that over to our other industry area. And I'm almost wondering if we can somehow squeeze in one somewhere in here, but I don't think that might be possible because it's already pretty developed and stuff. Uh, this is also ready for de deleting, so we can just delete that. <laughs> don't need that there anymore. Um, yeah, because we're going to need a train station for sure over here. Because we only have inbound traffic over here for the highway. So that's going to put a huge crunch on transit to go this way. So unless they need to do that, we should probably put a train station in. Um, like a cargo hub thing. So let's see if we can't do that. Uh, we'll need to branch out this line, I think. And might be, what What do we store here? We store paper. Um, yeah, we should be able to branch out from here, I think. That should be fine. Can always uh, create a junction somewhere around here. Not sure if that will work. Nope, that won't work.
so we got this oil industry up. It's not doing that well. They're um, not getting enough workers, unfortunately. So we might need to cut back on the amount of um, oil buildings in this area. Maybe kind of diversify the kind of industries that are in this area, maybe. I don't know. We'll see what we can do uh, for that. Um next episode but uh they're really struggling with the um amount of things like i also noticed like some of these are like 24 workers where the other ones are which one's the this one's only 18 that one's 24 so it, it kind of varies depending on the building type oh i think it's actually okay so it's actually the size of the building isn't it so there is 18 for those ones, there's 24 for those. So we might be able to calculate um, a little bit based on that, but we'll probably have to unzone all this because I was going to put that in here, but I don't think that we have enough people for that. Um, that can wait until next episode. If you're new to my channel, don't forget to subscribe, comment down below, rate the video, and I will see you guys next time. Thanks for watching. Peace out.